Alright, I'm gonna try to do a couple tag videos tonight, because one of them kind of already started and it just didn't post the first time, my crazy accent video, and then I saw there was an accent tag, so I thought I would do that, but before I do that, na na na, Graveyard Girl and Still Kiss, and a million other people have done the hundred questions no one asks. And there's probably a reason no one asks, ask, asks them. Yeah, I have a speech impediment. Did I explain this before? My tongue is way too big for my mouth, and I have problems saying certain words. And I try, but after a certain point in life, you kind of just give up on some things, you know, like covering your nose when you sneeze and chewing with your mouth closed and trying to communicate with other people in your native language Pfft, whatever so the first bonus Jonas question is something that happened to you in middle school so in middle school girls start their periods and reach menarche and start menstruating but their periods are really irregular and they're really embarrassing and they can't, you know, it takes a while to learn how to deal with being a woman. Because it's not like we asked to be a woman. Right? I mean, come on. If you had a choice, why? Because you get your own boobs to play with? That's not a good enough reason. So, I was in the bathroom pissing, right? Drink some water, gotta piss, yeah. The girl next to me in the stall is like, Could you go to the office and ask for a maxi pad for me? And I was just horrified and embarrassed because it's embarrassing enough when you have your own period, but to go ask for a maxi pad for someone else? So I was a bitch and I said no. And I kind of feel bad about that, but I don't know. I don't think anyone would have gone and got a tampon or a maxi pad from the office for me. It's just one of those things. You gotta stuff some toilet paper up there and uh, put a sweater around your waist and you have to go and be a big girl and do it yourself. Alright. Question number one. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Well, this is my office and it doesn't have closet doors. And my bedroom's pretty much the exact mirror opposite of this room. So, I don't have closet doors. Irrelevant. Two. Do you take the shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Yes. Because, you know what? Well, if you open them, I do. If I don't open, open them, then I might leave them. But if you open them, they're just going to throw them out anyways because now they're no longer sanitary. So they're going to throw them out or the cleaning lady's going to take them home. So, yeah, I take them. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? They um, are pretty much tucked in at the foot of the bed. So, yeah, tucked in. Four, have you ever stolen a street sign before? No. Five, do you like to use post-it notes? Not really. I guess they're kind of helpful, but I'm not, like, obsessed with them. Six. Do you cut out coupons but then never use them? Yes. 7. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I guess I'd rather be attacked by a swarm of bees since that's already happened to me. Um, bears are kind of scared of you. Like, brown bears, black bears are scared of you and they run away from you. Pretty much. You know, unless you're like stealing their cubs or something. Um, so I'll go with bees. I don't want to be attacked by a bear. Um, do you have freckles? Yes. Can you see them? Oh, it's so hard to focus. Wait. Look at all the freckles on my nose. I got a ton of freckles. You can't see on my arm. I have, like, a lot more freckles now than I did when I was younger. Like, I used to burn more easily, too. I think when I was, like, at some point, maybe not when I was younger, like a little kid because I was outside all the time and kind of had the immunity resistance and I'd have, like, five mm. big freckles and then I'd be tan. Now I just get freckles. Like, I don't really get tan. I don't really get burned. I just get freckles. It's great. 
Do you always smile for pictures? No, because sometimes, you know, like, my friends are goofy, and they'll, like, okay, they're holding the camera down here, you know? What are they taking a picture of? Or I'm just in a really bad mood, and I'm not smiling, and I don't want my picture taken because I know I'm all bloated, and my face is all red and splotchy, and I don't want you taking my picture, so I'm like, mm. I can't even frown right now. All right. What is your biggest pet peeve? I guess um, right now that's a really cheap, disgusting, improperly sized and tailored clothing that is available for sale um, if you live anywhere but a major metropolitan fashion center. Um, so, you want to buy new clothes? <laughs> You're SOL. Sorry. Even if you were a perfect size, which I'm not, but I have been before, even if you are perfect, correctly proportioned, size 8 or 10 or whatever, guess what? Sizes aren't correctly proportioned anymore. So if you have a woman's figure or even a Mrs. figure, you know, something where you've actually got a shape instead of a box, and you want something that'll last, like after the first time you wear it and wash it, Sorry, too bad. Go to the thrift store, find a seamstress, ain't gonna happen. Eleven, do you ever count your steps when you walk? Yes, and that's actually part of my job sometimes. And sometimes I do it anyway, just because it kind of like, if you're walking by yourself, cross country, kind of it's calming and soothing, and then you kind of know how far you're going and where you should be on your map. Um, 12. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yes. And I wish I could pee in more public places because, you know, if you're supposed to, if you're well hydrated and you're supposed to go 10 or 12 times a day, finding a public restroom is a huge inconvenience in my life. That might be my number two pet peeve. Have you ever pooped in the woods? Yes. You know what? They don't make uh, flush toilets in the backcountry. 14. Do you ever dance even if there's no music playing? Yes, obviously. 15. Do you chew your pens and pencils? You betcha I do. Uh-huh. 16. How many people have you slept with this week? That is a big fat zero. Does that look like a zero? It's a heart. It's a heart. Zero. Okay, I'm glad they said this week, you know, if they said this lifetime, gosh. Um, oh, 17. What size is your bed? It is a full-size bed. 18. What is your song of the week? I don't know. What's that song? Your sex takes me to paradise? Or... Today, my song of the day is definitely Donny Hathaway, Love, Love, Love. Okay, but I don't know what my song of the week is, because there hasn't been, like, one song this week that's, like, been stuck in my head. So, we'll just go with Donny Hathaway there. Nineteen. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? Yes. Okay. Twenty. Do you still watch cartoons? Not, well, no, not really. Not recently. If you count, like, C-Lab 2021, uh, Family Guy, The Cleveland Show, The Simpsons, if you count those, I kind of maybe my or Aqua Teen Hunger Force, maybe, like, Once in a Blue Moon, I might watch them. But I don't have cable, so I'm watching them on the internet uh, via Netflix or Hulu or something, and, yeah doesn't happen very often. 21. What is your least favorite movie? That is definitely Grease. My sister watched it like 300 times when she was in elementary school. At least. Like, I swear. Excuse me. 15 times a week. Couldn't take it. Freaking hate that movie. Obviously, uh, the pesto sauce is not agreeing with me this evening. Not that it ever agrees with me. I really should not eat stuff that has oil and cheese in it. 22! Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? 
So there's this like magical triangle because there's three like magical spots and I won't tell you where they are but I would try to like climb to some mountain or some like valley that's like in the exact center of those three spots and I would bury it there but that probably wouldn't work because the soil is probably like really developed and eroded there so it probably wouldn't be deep enough to bury it there. So then I'd probably just bury it like in my backyard where the soil is nice and deep. And you have a shovel you can just dig to China. Alright. 23. What do you drink with dinner? Tonight I drank uh, Blanc Fumé. Don't ask me what vineyard it was from. Robert Mon... Yeah. Robert M. something from somewhere in California. Napa Valley? Sonoma Valley? I don't really know. But it's good. I like Blanc Fumé. And it got like 90 points on the wine list review. And it was only $10 a bottle. So, double thumbs up for that. What? Okay. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? Number 24. I hope I'm not eating chicken nuggets. So irrelevant. 25. What is your favorite food? I don't really know right now. It used to be raspberries, but I might have like kind of fulfilled that. I think I have like a serious, serious like manganese or magnesium deficiency at some point and all the time, all the freaking time, I'd want raspberries. And back in Wisconsin, raspberries, a little teeny tiny half pint for non-organic raspberries is like five fifty or six dollars. So you can imagine that adds up really quick. And raspberries don't really grow where I live now, so again, you're still buying them at the grocery store. Not quite as expensive, but <sighs> it used to be raspberries. Right now, I really couldn't tell you. I'm liking white peaches right now. Excuse me again. But, see, this is why you should not eat cooked food. It makes you burp. Cooked food and alcohol. Bad. 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 Uh, yeah. Favorite food. I don't know. I like pico de gallo. I don't have a favorite food right now. I'm sorry. Mm. <clears throat> what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Pretty much any Quentin Tarantino movies. Burped again. Christ almighty. I'm trying to think if there's any other. But we'll just stick with that. Last person you kissed or kissed you. That's my boyfriend, obviously. Were you ever a boy Girl Scout? Yes. I was a Girl Scout from Daisy Girl Scouts in kindergarten until 6th grade. And then I dropped out because our meetings were on Sundays. And I'm like, I gotta watch football. Screw this. 29. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? You bet your bloomers I would. 30. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? It was like a couple weeks ago. Like three weeks ago I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And also the oil and cheese it kind of makes you have mucusy too. <coughs> you get this little like in your throat. That's probably just me. I'm like hypersensitive to certain food and get like heartburn and all kinds of weird stuff. That's why I kind of like have been on this fruit thing and I'll have eggs and um, I'll put cream in my coffee in the morning. But you know like a little teeny bit. I think eggs are essential. That's not a question. Alright, Barry got to stay on track. Focus. 
31. Can you change the oil on a car? Never tried to do it. Probably could. It would probably make me really frustrated and angry and filthy. And for, you know, $15. <clears throat> now it's in my nose. For $15, I'd rather pay someone else to do it. 32. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? Almost, but no. Luckily, I was... The only time I got pulled over, my friend was with me, and he knew the sheriff. I was like, you know, gee, I've been doing this for two years on this exit ramp. But it was a Saturday night, so, you know, they're cracking down on the DUI. And, uh, I didn't have my license. I had my license, but I didn't have my, um, registration or proof of insurance, like, in my glove compartment. So I was, like, really lucky. <laughs> We're really lucky I got got out of that one. Uh, ever ran out of gas? No. Favorite kind of sandwich? Uh, a kind that it has to include. Um, it has to have some kind of green green leafy thing. It has to have tomatoes. It has to have red onions. It has to have pepperoncinis. And then kind of the rest is up to. You know, whatever I feel like. Maybe I want bread, I like Dutch crunch, sourdough, I don't know, that all changes. Do I want meat? I don't know, cheese. Maybe if I want it, I probably shouldn't have it because it always makes me burp. Um, sprouts, like sprouts. Sometimes I like mustard, sometimes I like mayo. So I guess it's like, I like sub sandwiches, but what I want besides greens, lettuce, onions, and pepperoncinis. That's open to debate. Black olives, cucumbers, I don't know. Sometimes I like them. Sometimes I'm like, yeah. Avocados, like those a lot. I don't know. We'll go with submarine. <clears throat> Best thing to eat for breakfast. That would be like a fruit smoothie and some farm eggs fried in a little bit of butter. And then uh, you can put your eggs on a bagel or English muffin or in some tortillas, whatever. <clears throat> it's got to have smoothie and eggs, though. I'll be right back. Okay. What is your usual bedtime? Um, I don't know. This last week, it's been about 1130. Uh... Pretty much I should be getting ready for bed now because I try and get ready for bed as soon as it's dark, especially in the summer. And because really, you gotta make hay while the sun shines. And if your butt is still in bed when there's light outside, you're in trouble. Get yourself a rooster, man. Are you lazy? Obviously, yes, because I can't wake up at the crack of dawn right now. 38. When you were a kid... What did you dress up for as ho dress up as for Halloween? I, don't, I just didn't say that right. Mm, I remember being a witch, a princess, a duchess. I don't know, it was like some kind of frou frou girly thing. Uh, one time I was the berry patrol. You know, to make sure you cleaned out your, your, the new baritone saxophone we got at, at our high school. Mmm. Yeah, that's all I remember. Princess and a, a witch. Always a fairy one time when I was, like, really little. I remember, like, I had the stomach flu or gastroenteritis or something. And I wanted to go trick-or-treating so bad because I wanted all that candy. It is so sick. And what is your Chinese astrological sign? That's the goat. How many languages can you speak? Pretty much only English and French. Uh, yeah. Kinda, maybe, no, no. I can't say I can speak any other Romance languages, but I can kind of understand them, so... Okay. 41. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? Yes! 
I am still subscribed to Sunset. Oh, oh, yes. Sunset tells you where to go and spend your money on travel. And it has fabulous recipes, especially if you eat cooked food. All right. Well, it tells you how to grow stuff in your yard. 42. Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Obviously Legos. Are you stubborn? Probably not. 44. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? I guess Leno. I never really watched David, David Letterman. No, I don't watch either. 45. Ever watch soap operas? Yeah, when I was a little, 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 little long time ago. I, in the summer, we watch Days and um, The Young and the Restless. Those are the only two I ever remember watching. Are you afraid of heights? Sort of. I like to climb up big hills. But I don't like to be on like a little precipice. And you're like standing and it's like whoosh. No. Don't like to look down and see like. Yeah. 47. Do you sing in the car? Yes. Do you 48. Do you sing in the. <laughs> sing in the shower? Yes. Do you dance in the car? 49. Yes. 50. Ever used a gun? Yes. 51. Last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer? I think that was in December. 52. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Yes, but I still like them. 53. Is Christmas stressful? Not normally because I don't have kids to worry about and like a million presents to get. And normally work is slow at that time of year, so it's kind of like... I get to stay inside by the fire, drink wine, eat cheese, and make myself burp, and yeah, just be cozy and yeah, fun time. It's also normally I get like pretty much I get that whole week off of work if I want because there's like it's this one of the slowest times of year, and uh, so yeah, not stressful. 54. Ever eat a pierogi? Yeah. 55. Favorite type of fruit pie? You know it's cherry pie, bitches! Right. 56. Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid? I am that occupation, and I don't really like it that much. It's really stressful. Low pain. And I also wanted to be a park ranger, which they pretty much don't exist anymore after the budget cuts and sequestration and, you know, people going, Well, you waste more tax dollars for some park ranger that sits on their butt. Ah. And uh, I kind of was interested in, like, biology. But, uh, you know, working in a lab, staring in a microscope all day. That's gotta hurt your eyes and your back and be really boring. So, I don't know. What else? That's probably it that I wanted to be when I was a kid. Do you believe in ghosts? 57. I guess I do. I don't think I've ever really... Like, I have not ever, ever actually seen a ghost with, like, my eyes. But there are times when you know that there is, um... A, a human spirit presence that got attached to some thing in the reality, the dimension you're existing, and is not where they're supposed to necessarily be now that they have been become separated from their body, but they got some unresolved issues. Yeah, that that happens a lot, but uh, they never like really want to talk to me or like make themselves visible. So, whatever. 58. Ever have a deja vu feeling? I'm not having one right now, but, uh, yeah. Happens a lot. Take a vitamin daily. Not daily. Wear slippers. In the winter, I do. 61. Wear a bathrobe. Occasionally, but pretty much, if you see me naked, that's your problem. 62. What do you wear to bed? Um, 
in the summer I have a couple nightgowns I have like one that's cotton and longer and then I have a shorter one that's like polyester satin um, or I'll just wear a tank top no panties just a tank top put my panties and some shorts on in the morning to like make breakfast and stuff but sleeping just tank top nightgown in the winter I wear long johns First concert. What counts as a concert? I think probably I went to see live, um, the band live. That was probably my first like rock concert. Alright. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? No, no, no! Where would buy shit like that at? Costco? Thrift store? <laughs> Nike or Adidas? All day I dream about sex. Cheetos or Fritos? I guess that would have to be Fritos now since they started adding MSG to Cheetos and I can no longer eat them. Or I get so sick. So sick. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? I guess, um... Do not eat pesto sauce, my friends. Don't do it. You will regret. Uh, sunflower seeds. Ever hear of the group Très Bien? That means very good in French. No, I never heard of them. Ever take dance lessons? Yes, I took salsa lessons last year. And I sucked miserably. 70. Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? I know, he said he wanted to work at Lowe's when he retires. Or maybe we'll open a restaurant or he'll become a painter. That's all I got. La 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 la! Um, can you curl your tongue? Uh, 72. Ever won a spelling bee? Are you kidding me? I will probably have never graduated from high school without spell check. Mm, ever cry because you were so happy? Yes. 74. Own any record albums? Oh, hell yeah. Own a record player. Duh. 76. Regularly burn incense? No. 77. Ever been in love? That is questionable. We'll say yes. 78. Who would you like to see in concert? Well, I'm kind of sad I didn't go to that Gordon Lightfoot concert in March, but it's kind of pricey. It was on a Sunday night, and no one wanted to go with me. What? Uh, I'd like to see Stevie Nicks, and uh, that's kind of, yeah, I don't really care. Delta Ray, I don't know. <clears throat> I already saw all the cool people. <coughs> or they're dead. <laughs> uh, hot tea or cold? Oh, what is the last concert you saw? I saw, like, a for real concert. I saw the B-52s. Um, but there was this kind of cool band at the fair last year. And I don't remember their name. And I know that they were from Southern California, but... You know, it was a fair. It wasn't like a for real concert. 80. Hot tea or cold tea? I like iced tea better. Especially in the summer. 81. Tea or coffee? Well, let's go for iced coffee instead. You know, if I keep pausing this every time I get a sniffle, I ain't ever gonna get done. Sugar or snickerdoodles? Kind of indifferent. They're both alright. They're not my favorite cookie. <clears throat> can you swim well? No, but I can swim. 84. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 85. Are you patient? No. 86. DJ or band at a wedding? Um, you know, band maybe is better, but... Depends on who the band is and who the DJ is. Yeah. Ever won a contest? 
Don't think so. Ever had plastic surgery? No, but you know, a breast reduction is looking better and better every day. 89. Which are better, black or green olives? I like black olives better. And 90. Can you knit or crochet? I can crochet. I can't really knit. Kind of like someone tried to teach me before. I tried to teach myself before. I made like a little, you know, started coming something. And let's see. Do you want to get. Oh, 91. Best room for a fireplace. Like your dining room. Like your great hall, your drinking hall. You should all have beer steins in the winter. And you should have a roaring fire with a lamb roasting on it. Okay. 92. Do you want to get married? Only after my student loans are gone, because we can't afford that shit. So, yeah, I went to college. Because I wanted to get married probably by the time I was, like, 23. Like, I was, you know, like, I will not be fulfilled. <laughs> if married, how long have you been married? I've been married zero years. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Wait, I'm not supposed to swear, and I keep swearing. This is a swearing video, just so you know. 94, who is your high school crush? I don't know. I had a boyfriend in high school, like, the beginning of high school, I think. From halfway through freshman year until the end of my junior year. So I didn't really have a crush, because I was in a relationship. 95. Do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? Yeah, I do. I'm an immature little brat. 96. Do you have kids? Not unless you count my boyfriend's kids and my godson. No. Do you want kids? Little too late for that, ladies. The window of opportunity has closed. And... Even if I wasn't too old, and even if I could have kids, it does expensive. And not when they're babies. Because when they're babies, you just, everybody gives you stuff. You go to the thrift store, buy diapers with coupons on sale. Or maybe you do cloth diapers, but you're actually, like, it's not really better for the environment. Because all the hot water you're using and the natural gas you're using to heat the hot water. But, that's when they start getting to be in elementary school and middle school. And, like, I can't wear this and everyone's making fun of me. I need $25 for a field trip. I need lunch money. I need a car. I need car insurance. I need college tuition. I don't know. Like, kids are great when they're little. But what do you do with them? when they become teenagers. You can't, like, kick them out on their own. Alright, 98. What's your favorite color? Green. Do you miss anyone right now? Yes. That's all I got. So now we're gonna move along to... This is way too long of a video. The accent tag. 